Okay, what we're doing here is we're working on our throwing mechanic. Yeah, move it up closer. So, we want them to have their hands up and then pop. So that elbow, we call it elbow pop. Make sure you pop your elbow, pop your elbow. Okay, and so after they throw, we want them to pronate. So we've taught them up, up. So the thing here is as they throw, they want to pronate their hand to get on top of that ball and really pop it. Another focus of this drill too uh, is what the non-hitting hand does. We want them to tuck it in to, as they hit, we want them to tuck it in. So the left hand or the right hand for the lefty is going to be tucked in and they want to elevate their shoulder, elevate their shoulder and pop that elbow. Pop. Come on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta get you closer. Get closer. So they're throwing two balls. Again, getting their arms ready. Two hands up, two hands up before you throw. Come on, swing. Good. We have one box that's 18 inches and normally the taller kids, we put them on that box. And then our, our little tiny peppers, they get the little box, or the big box. We have worked very, very hard on spinning the ball, and that's our focus for today, and it's for just about every practice we have. So when they hit the ball, we want them to put a lot of rotation on the ball. One of the things I found out with, uh, with this drill is the longer we do it, the better we get at it. And a lot of times, you, as coaches, we tend to just get a certain number or, or for a certain time. And if we, we've done this for a long time, and it just gets better and better, so we just keep doing it. Uh, one of the things that are very important to win in volleyball is the speed of the hand. And uh, I, you can't be you can't be too too little to hit the ball. Another thing I found out as a coach is to have a lot of drills that are independent. We want our kids to be able to execute while they're on the court with a lot of coach feedback. We do give them feedback, but we want them to be independent volleyball players. So we want the feedback on this drill is just very simple: hit the dot and pop the elbow. So we do have coaching clues, but they're aiming at that at that dot we put there. You guys are hitting to area one, you're hitting to area three. Okay, everybody else off? Hey, bounce the ball, toss it, and hit it. Your job is to hit the front part, the front part of area one, you're hitting the front part of area three, you're digging, ball up, and take it back over there. Dig and catch, put the ball back. Uh, five and switch, that's fine. Okay, so bounce, bounce the ball, bounce the ball, you guys defend. Go, go. So now, Again, our goal is to pass it to the middle of the court, every five. Okay, so we're working on spinning the ball. And so toss, tuck the left hand, work on the left hand. JC, feed her balls on this side, she's right handed. Good ball, Maggie. Come on, hit the ball. Hit the ball down. Get down. JC, really focus on that left hand. Okay, so you're here. Bring, bring that left hand and hit. Left hand. Okay, now hit your target. Now hit your target. Come on, spin. That's it. Remember, shake hands. One of the feedbacks that we do is we do a simple handshake. Shake hands. So we want a strong, firm handshake. So we just give them this visual feedback. A good hand on the ball. Most important skill in volleyball, in my opinion, is being able to put a good hand on the ball and spin the ball. But if you spin it, you also have to dig it. Come on, Maggie, get down, get down, dive. So what they should do is the defender needs to dig and catch. 
Again, everything we do as far as touching the ball is just a small touch, an easy touch. We don't want a big impact. So just nice and easy touch. Easy touch. Up, up. Soft touch, soft touch. We train, we train volleyball players. I always like to dig and catch. Uh, they should always be moving forward and if they hold the platform at 45, the ball should just bounce and it should be very easy for them to catch. So, nice and easy touch. A lot of feedback from this drill too. Uh, where they put the ball in relationship to their, to their body is extremely important. Uh, at the beginning stages, you just want to make sure that they, they get that rotation on the ball as they hit it. More spin, Maggie, more spin. Whoa, that's too much. <laughs> you got it, you got it? Come on, spin the ball. And a ball like that, we call it dead ducks. We don't want dead ducks. Bam! Got D. Don't apologize. Don't ever apologize, Maggie. Hit it harder. We want our girls to be able to serve in a straight line. So what we do with this drill is we're getting ready to get our serving or our attacking. They can hit angles, but right now we're controlling the ball. So they're hitting it in a straight line and they're always passing to the target. He's switching at four. As we advance in this drill, what we will do is we will play that ball out. So they will pass set and hit it back at them. And when we do that, we will just do it with one ball on each, on each one of the banks. So right now they're just passing to the target, working on controlling the ball. They're hitting from the middle of their zone. Uh, Bella, I need to scoot back a little bit. Okay, line it up, line it up. Make sure you turn sideways, okay? Turn sideways, step. Okay, hit another one, let's go. Turn sideways, okay, dipping too much. Again, there's another element of ball control. You reduce the area that they're covering and they tend to control the ball a lot better by just having a nice and easy touch. As the kids get older, then we add a jump serve, we add a lot more things to it. But right now we're just working on ball control and nice and easy and always passing, always passing the ball. How do we know she's going to spin the ball? Shake her hand. Okay, so we got to be volleyball detectives, okay, so right away. So you line up and your eyes should be focused on what, what is Kylie doing, what is the server doing, okay? Ball out of control, what do we do? Area five. What do we do after that? Up again, okay, up, up, so, okay? If you have to go to China, go to China, get the ball to area five, get the ball up. You guys are in posture waiting? Okay, so what we're doing here, Balance the court, the person on the front row it has the up and down ball. We set, cover, that player plays it back up, we play it back to them, and now that person becomes, let them set up a little bit, Kyle. up, up. You're down in posture, stay in posture. Come on! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Are you balanced? Are you balanced on the court? Are they balanced? Why not? Well, could you help them out? Go to the middle of your zone. Person in the middle. Person in the middle. You're responsible for setting everything up. Okay, ready? Here we go. So we got our setter over here. It's out, let it go. And they set up again. Get to target. Get to target. Get to target as soon as that ball. Go, target. Up, up, up. So if they can't set it, then they're going to bump set, pass, cover, set it up again. Balance, balance the court. Up, up, up. Good. Play it back up, set it up. Go, go, go. Up, up, up again. Good. Up, up. Thank you. Play it up again, play it up again. Go. Ball's always up, always up. If we, if we pass a ball off target, like that one, we get the ball back up to area five. Area five, up and down ball. It helps us flowing to the ball. A lot of things in serve reception 
We want to make it as relaxed as possible, no pressure. There's a scoring system you can do with this drill too. Right now, I, I want to take pressure off of them and we, what I want them to do is just get the ball up. If the ball goes to target, it's a bonus for us right now at this stage in our training. We just want the ball to go up, up, Maggie, up. Get down and get the ball up. Up, up, Maggie. Maggie, get the ball up and down. Come on. Okay, rotation two, slider, slide over. Hey, you guys need to make sure you get to the caboose in the garage. Get over here right away. Right away. Ready? Up, up again. So if we don't have the pass and we get the ball back up again. Soft touch, so up. Okay, so automatically, if the ball's not on target, everybody just gets the ball back up what again. What we're doing in this drill is the jump server, jump server stays on this side until they have two serving ears in a row or anybody on this side passes the ball into the target. The person that passes the ball into the target gets to come back over here and jump serve. Now not everybody is proficient at jump serving so what we will do is the girls that can't, they can jump serve from inside the court. So what we want, you guys alternate. Okay, so in this side Bella will serve. Uh, if they knock her out, then we'll replace her and then Megan will serve. Okay? Let's put the balls up here so you serve, run to base, get your ball. I just get them from right there. Okay, go ahead, Bella. So her job is, is the job, job of the jump servers is to stay on this side as long as possible. Is that in? Run to base, go. Yeah, go. Get you, run, get your ball. Go. Oh! Now we can have a scoring system. We can have a scoring system individually. Right now, we just started this drill uh, last week. Uh oh. Ace. Ace. No. Girls, do not run the balls underneath the net because they're jump serving. Roll them to the side. Okay, pressure's on Bella now. Uh oh! Somebody, go, go. So the way we switch is whoever's in front of that server will take their spot. And I like the drill that, uh oh, the drill that you always reward the person that's doing it right. So Megan gets to stay over here and serve as long as she wants to. Uh oh, now she's got pressure. So what we want to do here is we create a line and their job is to try to knock that cone down that's right on that box. So we're trying to get it, get out of the way please. So we're trying to get that serve them in a straight line and that would set us up in serving to the seam. So we always serve the seam. If they have a ball into the net, they have three push-ups. Three push-ups. If the ball goes over, but it doesn't go in between the antennas, they have two push-ups. If they get it in, but they don't dig, they have one push-up. So you gotta serve and dig. Serve, run to base, dig and catch. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Serve, go, go, three. Get off the court quickly. Next, good, here we go. Now dig and catch, up, up, good. Two, 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 go. Dig. Ball up, two, two push-ups. Get off to the side, get your ball, go. Good. And in this drill, we want them serving the ball out of bounds. Three, good ball, good serve. Serve and dig, good serve. Serve and dig, good. Uh-oh, was that in between? So that's two, that's three. For the drill is as soon as the coach hits the ball, we want the next ball starting. Three, go. 
Good. Dig. 